Hey, hi everyone. Good morning. So guys, as part of the today's session, we are going to study the prerequisites that it is needed in our machine to work on this APM Python, followed by what exactly the configuration that we need to do on a machine, irrespective of the operating system. This is common for both the Windows and as well as a Mac OS, guys. The first and foremost thing that you need to download is a Node.js. Followed by the Node.js, you need to work uh, download this Android Studio. The reason why you need to download this Android Studio is if at all you have a connected your Android phone to that particular PC, it should recognize that OS. So that's the reason whenever you downloaded an Android Studio to your machine and you have an installed Android Studio, the complete Android bundle will be installed to your machine. That's the reason you need to download that. And of course, in order to work on this particular tool, right, uh, the programs, basically, we need an editor. The editor that we are going to use is a PyCharm. Hence, we need to download the PyCharm editor. And additionally, the last one that we need to work on is a specific to Mac OS only, which is an Xcode. So Xcode is the one that uh, we need precisely for a Mac. In general, whenever you downloaded any iOS GitHub source code, in order to build that particular apps or of course, in order to generate a .app files, in order to launch your simulators, for all those things, you need an Xcode basically, which is specific to that particular Mac OS. So whenever you are working on a Windows machine, you will be configuring with an Android. Hence, you can use only the Android automation on a Windows. Whenever you are working on a Mac machine, right, you can configure both the Windows, so which is an Android, and as well as an iOS automation. Both the things can be automated on a Mac machine. As of now, I'm using a Mac machine, guys. So these are the various prerequisites. And of course, this is the last and the most important step, which is updating the environmental variables. Ideally, we all know that uh, on a Windows machine, consider that when you have a worked on Selenium using Java, you might have a downloaded a Java and you were updating the Java in an environmental variables the similar way. For a Mac, you do have a bash profile or a jet profile as well, where in which you need to update that particular information as well. Even as part of the last step, we will be seeing that particular uh, chunk as well. How are we going to update the bash and as well as a jet profile on a Windows? What are all the things that we need to update? With that note, let's get started. So the first one is how exactly we are going to download the Node.js, right? That's the key thing. So what I'm doing is directly opening this particular uh, Google Node.js download. I'm searching for Node.js download and click on the first link that will be navigating to this particular official website. And as I am on a Mac, right, it's suggesting me to download this particular installer, which is a package file, okay, which is a package file, it's suggesting me to download. And once it got uh, downloaded, uh, double tap on that particular file, automatically will install the Node.js. I'm not showing that particular one, simply double tap on it and execute it. When you come to the Windows, basically, it's going to download an MSI file or a EXE file with which just double tapping on it uh, will be downloading that particular software. And once you are done and once you have a downloaded to cross check whether the Node.js is successfully installed or not, open your command prompt and type a node hyphen V and also npm hyphen V. So I was able to see both the versions. Of course, I have installed the 16th version. The latest version is around 22. Whichever it might be, it's fine. You can go with the latest version and you can download it. That's fine. The Node.js is downloaded. The next one is an Android Studio. So here, download Android Studio. Go to this particular official website for that particular Android Studio. And simply download this one. I was just trying to download this one. It's asking me to accept this. Okay, and mine is a Mac with an Apple chip. I'm just downloading this particular one. 
okay so whenever you are working on a windows or directly it will be downloading but for me it's uh, downloading from that particular uh, you know i'm just downloading from that particular official website as the mac does has a two different chips which is an m1 and as well as an in intel chip basically it's just prompting that whenever you are working on a windows basically it won't prompt you that directly it's gonna download the exe file and double tap on that particular exe file will automatically install this android studio so Rendra, why we need this particular android studio the reason is as said couple of minutes before the complete android studio does have the android bundled software along with that you can also launch android emulators which is a virtual device ideally most of us are using an android phones itself that's the reason we are not going to work on emulators which is an android virtual devices execution whatever the android test scripts that you are going to create that we are going to create moving further i will be executing them on a real android phone itself which is my android phone i will be executing them and moving on to ios that we will be showing on a virtual device which is a simulator that we are launching from the xcode and we are going to install and we are going to use it that's it so once after it got a download it simply double tap on that particular exe file and it will install it the next and the last step that you need to download is an install pycharm see guys the android studio wasn't downloaded yet it's taking some time to download Ideally, as it is a complete Android package, the downloading part and the installing part of the Android Studio is a bit time consuming one. Okay, it's a bit time consuming one. We will come back there. So here, download PyCharm. Okay, the next one here is a download PyCharm basically. Okay, download the PyCharm. So install the PyCharm. I'm just navigating here. And we need to download the community edition. Okay, we need to download the community edition. So where is this? Uh, download the PyCharm. As and when you are here, this is the professional edition. If you scroll down a bit, you will be seeing the community edition as a DMG file. Double tap on that particular downloaded DMG file. Automatically, the PyCharm will be installed ideally when it got a downloaded if you perform the double tap operation automatically the pycharm will be installed to your machine okay perfect so once this pycharm got installed on this particular machine the next thing that we need to consider here is okay the android studio is pending see the android studio file got a downloaded as a tmg file double tap on that it's asking us to pull it into the application folder this will occur only on a mac i just pulled it okay i just dragged and dropped onto the application so folder okay it will take a few seconds to move it yes perfect it moved to the applications folder now go to applications you do have an android studio when you perform a double tap operation of that particular android studio it will launch the android studio for us okay it will launch the android studio for us perfect so that's the thing so it's you have a downloaded this file from an internet would you like to open it yes of course i would like to open this particular android studio i don't want to stand any kind of a statistics just launch it okay so welcome to android studio just click on a next and next 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 accept and click on a finish automatically it will be downloading this android studio to your machine as said that as it's gonna download the complete android studio it will take some time okay it will take some time to download it into this particular machine and to launch that okay perfectly all right up to here let's take a pass okay up to here let's take a pass the next step is xcode and as well as a walkthrough okay that we will continue as part of the next session i'll show you okay so how to download the xcode and where exactly you can download that particular xcode followed by how you are going to update that particular uh you know environmental variables on a windows or from a particular mark perspective how you are going to update the profiles that we will continue as part of the next session guys okay perfect that's all we have for this session. See you again in the next session. Thank you. Bye-bye.